CNIB presents Know Your Rights, Shan's Story. My name is Shan Noyes. I'm a father, a husband. I work in cybersecurity as a technical analyst. However, I am blind and use a guide dog. A black lab guide dog in harness sits at Shan's feet. This is my guide dog, Kix. I certainly have encountered barriers with my guide dog, whether it's public transportation, hospitals, or businesses. I'm often told that my guide dog is not allowed to enter, even though that is against the law. Here's an example of a typical barrier. It can happen anywhere, but this time it was a restaurant. Shan approaches a restaurant entrance with his guide dog. I was invited by friends at work to have lunch at a nearby restaurant. My friends went ahead of me and got a table. When I entered the restaurant, I was told that I could not bring my dog inside. Shan speaks with a hostess. Hi. Hi, I'm here to have lunch with some friends. Uh, They came ahead and said they were already seated. Oh, we don't allow dogs in the restaurant. Actually, she's a guide dog and legally you must serve us. I'm sorry, I can't seat you with a dog in the dining room. It'll have to stay outside. So, what are my rights? First, under Saskatchewan Human Rights Code, it is against the law to be discriminated against because of sight loss and the use of a guide dog. Service providers, including restaurants, have a legal obligation to provide the same service to you as they do to anyone else. More specifically, The Saskatchewan Human Rights Commission has drafted a policy which states that businesses must accommodate the attendance of service animals. Let's rewind this scenario and look at what really should have happened. Hi there, how can I help you? Hi, I'm here to have lunch with some friends. Uh, They came ahead and said they're already seated. Oh, perfect. Can I get your name, please? Shan Noyes. Of course, they told me to expect you. Just follow me, it's right this way to your table. Shan and his guide dog enter the dining area. When I encounter a situation like this, I view it as an opportunity for education and resolve the situation with as little conflict as possible. That being said, I am glad that the Saskatchewan Human Rights Commission is available to help parties resolve disputes and provide education to people throughout the province. To help break down barriers, please share this on social media. To learn more, visit cnib.ca. This video was created with financial support from the Law Foundation of Saskatchewan.